Pwede magsasagot naman tayo ng uh, problems involving an ellipse. Sa so problem number one, meron tayong foci at saka major axis. Sa so pagsagot ng problems involving ellipse, kailangan natin ng formula. At ito yung mga formula na gagamitin natin para sa ellipse. Yung standard equation ng ellipse, na alam natin, yung center is, is at hk, so kailangan natin makuha yung center, at yung pagkuha ng foci will be at c squared equals a squared minus b squared, at yung major axis is equal to 2a. Ang alam natin sa ellipse, kapag ka ang denominator ay mas malaki with x, yung ating ellipse will be a wide ellipse. At kung ang uh, denominator naman natin sa y ay mas malaki kesa sa x, yung ating ellipse ay magiging tall ellipse. So, yan yung dalawang shapes ng ellipse na makikita natin para sa problem number 1 and number 2. So, let's go ahead and start problem number 1. Problem number 1, meron tayong foci at saka major axis. Ang una natin gagawin is to sketch the given information gamit ang graphing paper. Sa pagsagot ng mga problems involving conic section, mas madali kung meron tayong graphing paper kasi mas nabivisualize natin yung itsura at yung parts ng conic section. And in this case, yung ellipse. Yung foci daw natin is at 0, 1. So ito ang 0. 1 is at y. So this is our first focus. Yung second focus natin is at 4, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. At alam natin na kung meron tayong ellipse, yung center natin will be at the center of the foci. So yung center natin, makukuha natin, and it's somewhere here. At ang coordinate niya ay 1, 0, 1, 2, 2, and 1. So yung center natin, is at 2 and 1. So, ito ngayon yung value ng ating h at saka yung k. So, ito yung h at ito yung k. Now, another fact about ellipse is that yung va variable na c ay mahahanap natin sa distance between the center to the foci. At meron tayong 2 units dun sa center at foci or one of the foci. So, yung ating value ng c I equal to 2 units. Now, in our formula, meron tayong H, K, A, and B. Alam na natin si H at saka si K. Hahanapin na lang natin si A at saka si B. Ang susunod nating formula na gagamitin since meron tayong major axis is yung 2A equal to the major axis. So, yung variable A natin, lagay natin siya dito, is equal to 3. Ang kailangan na lang nating mahanap is yung variable B para ma-complete yung ating standard equation ng ellipse. And to do that, we're going to use this formula, C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared, para mahanap natin yung variable B. And in this case, we know what C is at we know what A is. C is 2, A is 3, minus B squared. Now, by using algebra, we'll be able to find the value of B. So B squared, so what I'm going to do is add B on both sides and subtract 2 on both sides. So I'll end up with B squared equals to 3 squared minus 2 squared. So I have B squared equals 9, minus 4, and b squared is equal to 5. Now, yung b squared, hahanapin natin siya mamaya, pero ang ating value ng b will be square root of 5 at using the calculator, square root of 5 is 2.23. So, c, a, b is 2.23. Now, Ang alam natin, ang formula ng ellipse ay x minus h squared equals, I mean, plus y minus k squared all over a squared and b squared equals 1. 
So in this case, meron tayong dalawang variable a and b at kailangan natin silang square. So yung square ng a ay 9 at alam natin yung b squared is equal to 5. So yung formula natin, since mas malaki yung ating mas malaki si 9 sa 5 at yung foci natin is along the x-axis, so 9 will be with our a. So we have x minus 2 squared all over 9 plus y minus 1 squared all over 5 equals 1. At ito yung ating standard form ng ellipse. To complete our ellipse, gagamitin natin yung A and B para sa ating uh, major axis at saka minor axis. So, from the center, since X is with 9, ang square root of 9 ay 3. So, that means from the center, bibilang tayo ng 3 units to the left at saka 3 units to the right. So, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So, ito yung ating vertex along the uh, uh, foci. At yung ating vertex naman sa minor axis will be square root of 5, which is 2.23. So, from the center, you count 2.23 above and below the center. So, 1, 2, somewhere here. 1, 2, somewhere here. So, kung magdodraw tayo ng ellipse, gamit tayo ng guide. So, let's just draw a quick rectangle connecting the guides that we have para makabuo tayo ng ellipse. At yung ellipse natin, graph this way. So, ito ngayon yung ating ellipse gamit yung formula. So, yung pangalawa naman, kailangan nating makuha yung foci, um, standard equation ng ellipse given yung ating foci. So, sulat ulit natin yung mga given information. using the graph. Two, zero, x is two, one, two, and zero. At two and four. One, two, one, two, three. So, ito yung ating dalawang foci. So, using the foci, mahahanap natin si center, which is, sa gitna niya, somewhere here, at yun ay 2 and 2. So, yan ngayon yung ating H and K. Ang susunod nating makukuha ay yung value ng C. So, yung value ng C natin would be the distance from the center to the focus at yun ay 2 units. So, yung ating C is equal to 2. Now, kailangan na lang natin hanapin si 2A using the major axis. So, 2A is equal to 8. So, A is equal to 4. So, now we have the value of A. At tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, hahanapin naman na ng C, B, using C squared equals A squared minus B squared, where C is 2, A is 4, minus B squared. And by algebra, B squared is equal to 4 squared minus 2 squared, which gives us 16 minus 4, and 16 minus 4 is 12. 
So, yan yung atong B squared. At mamaya, sa vertex, kailangan natin yung square root ng 12. At square root ng 12 ay 3.46. So, C, A, and B is equal to 3.46. At yung ating value ng A squared and B squared will be 16 at saka 12. So to use the formula, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared all over a squared all over b squared equal to 1. This time, yung a and b natin magpapalit kasi yung ating mas malaking variable Ay, ang mas malaki natin denominator which is 16 kailangan siyang mapunta along the y-axis kasi yung foci natin is um, along the y-axis ng ating uh, graph or xy plane so since it's a tall ellipse yung 16 which is bigger will go with y so hindi natin susundin yung formula kasi kailangan nilang mag switch so we have x minus h which is 2 squared at si x i for 12 so d to c 12 plus y minus 2 squared all over 16 equal to 1 sorry 16 so ito ngayon yung equation ng ating second ellipse So remember, yung mas malaki na variable ay magiging or mag, mapapa sa ilalim ni y at yung mas maliit is with x dahil yun sa orientation ng ating ellipse. Now to graph our ellipse, ang um, c or x value, so yung horizontal axis niya, will be determined by the denominator of x. So yung square root ng 12 ay 3.4, so you'll count 1, 2, 3.4. So somewhere here, para sa horizontal axis at 1, 2, 3.4, yung sa kabilang axis. Now for the y um, vertex, so from the center, kakount naman tayo ng 4 units. So 1, 2, 3, 4. At 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ito ngayon yung ating ellipse using our guide. Yung ellipse natin will be be graph this way. So ito ngayon yung ating analysis for our ellipse given the foci and the major axis.